Hello and welcome. I'm going to be talking about the querido, means beloved in Spanish. That's where this German company got its name, which I think is pretty sweet. And this is the Kid Goo 2. This is a two-seater. It's the 2022 version. And let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we're looking at the side view here. And right here, I'm going to use my little pointer, is we've got the clips to take this off. So I'll do that in a minute. We've got here our side protector for the wheels. And if it rolls over and it has a reflector on it as well. And we have one up here as well. Okay, so here's a little bit of a front view to get a little idea here. Okay, so in the front, you see the wheel here and right here is the push button. So you push this in and then the wheel can easily come off and then you can attach the bar, the tow bar for the bike. Um, it also has a button here, so it's set to jogger. So if the jogger doesn't move, and it's super easy, all you do is push it up. Now it says buggy here, and it turns 360. So I think that's pretty neat. And as I said before, there's clips on the side. So you can unclip this side, and then this side, and it kind of comes up easily. Okay, so there's that. All right, let's keep going. Okay, in the front, you see the two reflectors on each side. And then we're going to take a look at this up here, which is the three-in-one canopy. So you have the insect protection net, which is right there, the sun cover, which has a Velcro, and then you have for the rain up there, which has a toggle, so you can undo that. So let's look at that. Before I take that off, let me just show you the Velcro here. There you go, and it just comes off from the bottom and the top so you can move it around. Here's a little toggle, and it comes all the way down here with a zipper. So that's nice. So I think we talked about the protectors on the bottom. We have at, at the top as well, this is the head protector. And here is where we put the pendant or the flag. Okay, since we're here on the side, let's take a look here. That's the buckle for the top. And then here we have uh, where we stow the tow bar. We don't have it on this one because we're not using it as a bike trailer right now. Um, but it would fit in here. So I think that's really easy if you're switching from one to the other. Just put it in here. And it, it's a nice place to keep it. Okay, so let's open this up. And then let's take a look in here. Okay, so this is actually already set up for my two kids. That's why you see the two different height difference with the headrests. But they can easily come off. There you go. And put it back on. Five point harness, there's the one. And then here. We've got the rest of the buckle here, here, and here. It's really nice. The material is nice. Um, I like it. And then down here, and it's the same on both sides. So same here. This is where you tighten. So you strap the kids in, and then you just pull on this, and that tightens it. And then back here, uh, with this red, is where you would loosen it. So you would just pull on this and then you'd be able to loosen that. Um, so what it is is actually, it's a little bit tricky because there's a button back here on the bottom. So you could push the button up and I think that's easier. So it depends on what angle you're on. You can't pull it down this way. It has to be kind of an upward motion so that that button is pressed. I think you can also hear it when I let go versus I think it doesn't really work as good that way. Okay, and then on each side here, it's gonna be the same. Side pocket, one, and then two. And then it also has right here, this Velcro, where right here it's plastic, but here it's like a netting, so it allows for a little bit of ventilation. And you see that on both sides. 
Under here, there's actually a little Velcro. It's just the frame. But just so we get a look at it. There we go. So that's the inside. Okay, just a little view here of the 20 inch wheel. You can see the reflector with my light on. And you could see there that red, that's the leaf spring with rubber damping that comes with this version. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm just gonna move up so you can see a little bit of the side as well. You can see the inside. Okay, there's the other reflector that I already mentioned. And here hanging on the side is the hand strap. So it's already connected. That's the hand strap. And then we're gonna press these buttons in a minute to move the handle. So you can see how it goes up and down. Okay, so you have to push both sides, uh, this push button uh, for the handlebar to make it move. And actually it has several different positions. Um, I would say in my opinion, for me, it's a little, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure I, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Let's just put it that way. Okay, there's the handlebar all the way down. And like I said, you can move it up and in the next shot, I'll have it all the way on the other side, but you get the point. Okay, so there's the handlebar all the way on the other side towards the front. And then let's take a look at what we have back here. So we have this zigzag rubber lacing here. And we've got this pocket. So in here, there's actually an inner pocket that you would put something in from the side. And you can see, there you go. And then on this side, it's from the top. Let's put something in here. So I think that's convenient just, you know, with whatever you need, something quick and easy. Over here, I think you can see this magnetic strip here across the bottom and the top here. That's kind of what makes it stick. So we're gonna lift that up here. Here's some information. German side, English side. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, so in here, there is a bag. It shows you the picture, it's upside down, but um, the wheel, or you can keep sandals, bucket, so it's Velcro. I think it's a nice size. Like I said, it fits the wheel. It has a little handle, so you can actually take it out. I'm not going to do that now, but then here you've got a nice space, I think. Okay, so we're looking at that. And um, since we're looking here, this button here, there's one on each side, you'd press that to collapse it. Press both of them, and then it'll collapse. And then back here, if you wanted to adjust the seats, it would be this right here. So this is a Velcro across, so you could unstrap that first, and then you'd adjust it here. So this one's all the way at the top, and this one is the middle one. So you could see here's the top portion. Okay, so move this back. And then let's go down here, take a look here. Okay, we've got the brake. So it's not on right now, so it's moving. Um, and then here, this, to take the tag off yet, this is where you would, um, when you have it collapsed, you tie it up. So I'll show you that in a second. And that's on a D-ring here. All right, so I actually misspoke. You pull on these. Okay, so I pulled both of them and then and it collapses. Okay, and as I said before, um, right here on this bar, I detach this. Okay, but I'm doing this one handed right now. But there it's collapsed. I didn't close it up, so just keep in mind. And you'd also take off the wheels if you were transporting it. So there you go. I hope that helps. I did this video, as you can see, it's just in my house right now. And I didn't see any videos on this version, the 2022. And I, you know, I bought it without looking at it. And I thought, hey, you know what? It would be nice to look at all the details. 
and to know how it works. I do like the quality. Um, haven't owned a bike trailer, so just wanted to point that out. And what I don't like, I think it collapses very well. I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed for sure because I can't do it with two hands. Uh, it's not bad lifting up, but to lock it into place, you've got to lift this this one that my hand is on. And then the bar over here, you have to pull that one. So uh, until these click on the sides and I can't do it. <laughs> I think it's really hard. Um, so that's just one thing that I don't like. It doesn't easily uh, convert back and forth, but just depends on how often you're changing it. But there you go. Yay, we take a walk. Everybody now, let's take a walk. Come and come and take a walk. Come and come and come. Come, come.